right, so we just did a couple of quests. We did uh, Shield of Arv and the uh, Soul's Bane. That's the one. And now we have all of the medium diaries complete for Varak, except for the, the balloon travel, which I have to I have to complete enlightened journey to do that. So we're just waiting on our willow trees to grow. Yeah, and I'll probably edit a video while I'm fishing here, so that will probably make sense. So let's see. Got a Gothic page and some trimmed bronze plate legs. Oh my. Wow, those look weird. Alright, well, uh, that's a unique page. It's pretty useful. I mean, pretty useless. But it's a unique, so cool. Okay, and that is going to be the uh, Enlightened Journey completed. There we go. We have done it, and now I believe all I have to do is travel again. Okay, and there is Toby. Let's get ourselves these rewards. This is actually a pretty unique armor piece in terms of just like RuneScape in general, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll just use it on Herb Lore and that does get me a Herb Lore level. 49 Herb Lore plus another 2500. Pretty close to 50 now. And of course the main reason I did that is now I can configure this teleport to teleport right me. To teleport me right to the Grand Exchange. Making uh banking a lot easier now there we go this is what I want direct portal we want their rock here um, I think I'm gonna have to buy some more lovers all right so I decided that I want to use these in sold blood belt heads because I think I have enough to get to 60 prayer and if I don't I definitely have enough dragon bones to cover the rest of the experience I need so I'm going to run through these and get myself 60 prayer and maybe do the quest to get chivalry unlocked as well as piety unlocked but I still would have to get 10 more prayer levels. Alright here is the moment of truth. This is going to be 60 prayer. Uh, I've only honestly been working this for maybe about an hour so that's pretty nice. All those levels I had banked get me up to 60 prayer now I can use chivalry. But um, yeah, I am going to do that quest uh, pretty soon, but first of all, I know I definitely first is what I want to do is get the Dragon Battle Axe, so I have to do the Heroes Quest still. Um, but yeah, the Dragon Battle Axe definitely is a huge help with that quest because it has multiple attack styles that help with that quest, so I'm definitely going to get that first. Alright, and now we should have plenty of rooms to get ourselves the Corian teleport here in, uh, in our house. And that is awesome, that would be really nice for a lot of stuff. There we go, 49 Hunter, now I can make Mahogany Birdhouse traps. Yeah, I guess that's just a little more experience per each one. And I guess I came up with kind of a plan. My cash check has been very low for quite a while. My idea right now is I'm actually going to sell my blood runes. And I do have a pretty nice stack here. This should get me... I'm not sure exactly. It probably will be somewhere around 1.4 mil, I'm guessing. I mean, yeah, they're probably not going to be useful until I'm somewhere around 80-something Slayer anyway. So I might as well just sell them right now. Don't need... Don't need these blood runes. And in order to do that, I have to do a few quests. So I'm going to work on that right now. There we go. 15k thieving experience. That actually got me... I think that might have gotten me two levels. No, that definitely got me one level. All right. 55 thieving. All right. We just did the quest Ishlarin's Little Helper. That was a pretty easy quest. A lot easier than I remember. So not too bad. Um... Got a woodcutting level, also very close to a agility level. Right, so now that's all the quests I have to do. Now I just have to do this like mini game thing so I can sell my blood runes. Alright, I guess we'll stop right about there. Just leave a little bit of blood runes in here just in case I need them for something in the future. Um, but yeah, I mean, I need them for like unsold heads and stuff, but I won't need a ton. But yeah, now we have two mil. Alright, well I wasn't really expecting to get a level here, but this is going to be 50 Hunter. 
And now I currently only have two sets under 50. Uh, all I would have to do is pretty much one farm run to get 50 farming. And then there's runecrafting. Okay, I forgot you actually had to talk to this guy to finish that quest. So here is the troll stronghold completed. Yeah, now I'm going to finish this uh, Feminagizi Diary because it's pretty nice to have the sea boots. Gives you one daily teleport over to the Feminic Isles. No, it's to Relica, yep. And that's really useful for collecting snake grass because I'm never going to really have to do that more than once a day. Alright, so maybe now we will be able to... Are you kidding me? There we go. We have completed all of the easy tasks. This might get me close to an agility level, so I guess I'll use it on that. And yeah, basically you can use these boots once a day to teleport you here. And you can deposit items to appear the seer. So yeah, I think I'm going to pick up probably about 200 of these because I have a bunch of Raynars in the bank and I was pretty much waiting to get this unlocked. And are we going to get anything this time? I have still not gotten any of the unique drops. And we got a missed battle a missed battle staff it gives me air and water runes okay i'm not sure if that's useful for anything but it looks pretty cool that does look really cool huh. all right we're getting pretty close to the end of this slayer task there is 78 range and we are just a few hits away from getting 79 hit points Okay, so I'm 93 and 3 quarters, almost 94 combat. And 79 hit points is my highest skill again. Alright, so that has to be the by far the fastest I've ever completed the hero's quest. And yeah, that probably took me less than 10 minutes combined. Uh, but that's great. Uh, now I'm going to go get the dragon battle axe for sure. And that's great. Basically, the Dragon Battle Axe is like a super strength potion. It's actually a little bit better than a super strength potion. But um, it does lower your attack and defense, but super attack potions are incredibly easy to get. So, Alright, so I got all geared up to do the do the mini quest for Piety and Shivery, and I forgot that I never did King's Ransom. So here we are, finishing King's Ransom. And there we go. 33,000 defense experience. Can't believe I didn't do that already. There we go. And now I should be all set. Uh, they got me some experience. I'm very close to defense level now and a strength level. And of course now I can use chivalry. Chivalry. Chivalry? Something like that. Alright, we just finished up a uh, cave horse task. And this could be the last task for 65, but it probably won't be. Black Demons. Alright, so pretty much I'm not going to do this Black Demon's task, but I do have three totems, so I'm going to actually go kill Scotizo for the first time on this account. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm sure we'll be just fine. Alright, that was pretty rough, I must admit. I was actually expecting to do that a little easier. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this, actually. I don't think I'm going to come back because, uh, ooh, Dark Claw. Oh, that's what you need for the Slay Helmet, I think. I really can't bring any more food. I brought three prayer potions. Well, this was that clue that I got. Uh, requires 80 Slayer. Not even close. All right, I think this is a uh, hard clue number six. I'm pretty sure. But uh, we really want to get dragon hide legs. That'd be nice. Yeah, I guess we'll see what we get. Oh, what is that? Purple sweets aren't too bad either because I'm thinking about getting a fire cape soon even though I don't have a rune crossbow. I might actually try it with the magic short bow at some point. Oh, come on. I'm going to waste another prayer potion. Are you kidding me? Of course not. I kill it. Well, that went a lot smoother than it did before. I pretty much went from having, what, four food left, and now I only ate six. So that was quite a big difference from actually hitting with my arc like spec. Down and around. I always forget how you get around this place. It's pretty annoying to get over here. I honestly do not remember. I'm going to have to do this again very soon for Desert Treasure too. <laughs> Alright, we finally found out how to get here. It took me a lot longer than it probably should have. Alright, Bandos Boots, please. 
and we just got bones. How's that even possible? No, I think I might save this because this is uh with the third step. I think you can complete. I think you can complete elites in four steps. So I'll probably just keep this because I'll probably get a hundred combat. You know, and once I get like. 85 strength or something. All right, well we wound up skipping that black demon task and we got a spiritual creatures task Which is probably even worse. Now there is a great task. I would definitely do that and need all the dragon bones I can get All right, so we uh, We just finished that task of Blue dragons and I wound up ranging them that at the end with the uh, magic short bow and actually was pretty darn good um didn't hit a whole lot of zeros, so honestly, it's not too bad. I might do it in the future. I'm not sure how long it's going to be until I get a rune crossbow. Hellhounds, that is definitely going to get me 65 slayer. All right, after this hellhound, I'm going to have myself 65 slayer. And after that, right about right about now. Okay. But yeah, I definitely don't need to be doing Slayer, you know, when I don't have Dust Devils unlocked and when I don't have Ancients, so. For now, I'm going to be done for Slayer for a little bit, and I, just to do Desert Treasure, I believe there's a bunch of other quests I have to do as well. Alright, so currently we are a lot more dry than I thought was possible in Iron Man. Uh, this is going to be Barrow's Chest 60. And we still have not received an item. All right, so it's been a couple days since I've been on uh, playing like legit, but I've pretty much just been doing bird houses as well as some wood cutting and fleshing, and farming some of these giant seaweed to get some soda ash. Still working on that. I need the uh, I need to match my soda ash with buckets of sand, and that will actually give me 61 crafting. Then I can do lunar diplomacy. But I have to. Now that I have the fletching level, I can actually make that missile grapple I was trying to make. Alright, so I'm pretty sure 100 is pretty good, so 86 I pro this probably isn't that bad, but let's see. How much experience is that going to give me in runecrafting? Alright, only got me up to 17. I was expecting a little higher. But now I can make uh, fire runes. Alright, so about 10 minutes later... All out of run energy, but this should be... Oh, okay, I need to use earth runes on the fire altar. That kind of makes sense, okay, since they're combination runes. All right, guys, here we are. First try. And you have completed all of the medium diaries. Let's go collect that reward. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to do agility because I just don't like it. And that's actually going to get me an agility level. 72 agility. Stronghold Slayer Cave. Narrow Tunnel. I don't even know what that is. Alright, I completely was just recording that without my mic on. But yeah, now I can teleport to the Watchtower whenever I want. And we finished that diary requirement to get the Nightshade. Alright, there is Tower of Life completed. And now we can create the creatures. All right, and this is going to get us another uh, experience lamp, which I think we'll just put on agility again. Why not? And the RD cloak too, which is awesome because it teleports you right to the farm patch. All right, so pretty much um, I have to get 12 magic logs, I believe, for desert treasure. And there's a couple ways to do that. One way is going to be to trying to get it to Winter Todd. The other way is to get five. <laughs> five wood cutting levels which is going to take a very long time so i'm going to try and do winter top for a couple hours and see if i can get lucky and uh maybe get some magic logs oh wow three snapdragon seeds that's actually pretty damn good <laughs> holy crap i didn't know you could get three of them all right oh my gosh two u seeds that's like what is that like don't they like 20k magic 20k farming experience each. Oh shit. I just took like, I was like full hit points. Ah, uh, holy crap. I was like, yeah, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Ooh, three more Snapdragon Seeds. Wow, 
So that is six, seven, eight snapdragons in like, I think I've done about 10 chests so far. All right, so I'm very close to 52 Herblore here and I'm all out of good potions. So I'm gonna have to pick up some of these ashes and uh, make some Sandfew serums. Or not Sandfew serums, the Serum 207 I think it's called. But uh, yeah, I think I make like maybe eight of them and I should be able to get myself 52 Herblore. All right, hopefully this will get me 52 Herblore. There we go. 52 Herblore, now I can make super energy potions. 73, let's get it. Ah, more mahogany. <laughs> Apparently it's the same, um, same drop rate for mahogany and magic logs, so. All right, 75 fire making and <laughs> it's pretty interesting how I have so many skills in the 70s, but I don't have 180. And then there's the 23 room crafting. 79. Oh, 79. We got ourselves 19 magic logs. There we go. And I believe that's the only thing I needed to do desert treasure. All right. So I actually forgot, but I believe this might be the last thing I have to do to start desert treasure. All right, and apparently Tourist Trap was another one of those quests that I hadn't done yet, so there we go. And agility again. There we go. Um, pretty nice. Now I can make darts. Um, don't need darts right now, but I think that was the last requirement. Now if I click on Desert Treasure, it should say I'm all set. I remember one time on my main about four years ago, maybe I came here with melee and I got destroyed. I had no idea how to beat this, but uh, yeah, it's really not that hard. All right, I literally used two and a half prayer potions. <laughs> and I guess I can kill a shadow hound here to get my uh, diary, I guess. It's a diary task, apparently. And I just got 75 magic, that's interesting. All right, and it's a hard task. Okay, cool. Now let's head over to hand in my diamonds and finish the quest. Oh my goodness, we friggin' made it. Holy crap, wow. I think um, overall that quest probably took me about at least two hours. That was bad. Now we have unlocked ancient magic. So that is definitely for dust devil tasks. Now that I have 65 slayer, very important to have ancient magics unlocked. All right, so I think plan here is I'm gonna get myself 61 crafting because I do finally have that bank. And after that, I think I will just end the episode. Alrighty guys, here we are grabbing that crafting level. This is going to be 61 crafting. And after getting 61 crafting, we can do Lunar Diplomacy. And now that we have that done, um, we can go do that quest. And once we get Lunar Diplomacy done, I think for the next episode, um, we're probably going to do... Um, some more Slayer or just train our magic up to I believe it is 85 to do Barrows teleports. Once I get Barrows teleports I think I'm just gonna grind out some Barrows. So we are gonna end this episode at 1496 total looking at the bank value approximately 17.9 million and uh, didn't have a whole lot of new items added to the bank this episode, really just the ancient staff and a few other odd items from the quest that I did. But um, yeah, definitely a lot of progress in this video. Um, and these videos are taking a lot longer to make now, but I'm still enjoying the game, still enjoying making these videos. Looking at the cash stack, 1.5 mil. Definitely have a nice cash stack again, so that's always great. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.